John Cristana here, and I'm going to be going over success tips that made me a millionaire in this video. I'm going to go over three particular areas, including being willing to listen to a mentor and what that means. I'll go over it in detail. Second is ruthlessly split testing when others don't. And the third is investing in areas where you feel uncomfortable. Now, once again, I'll go over each of these in detail. I'll relate to you some personal stories of unintuitive ways that these were able to help me and help you. So let's get it. Now, the first success tip that made me a millionaire is being willing to listen to a mentor. And this is harder than it actually sounds. Now, most people come with an ego of what they think they can do, and they think they can do everything by themselves. And this is a surefire recipe for failure. Since Mentors who have already done it before, that's the key, make it easy for you. The worst part is that many people trust their gut, right? They've been told to trust their gut, which is a form of ego. And if you go into business or personal matters with this, then you're probably gonna fail. Because if you're not where you want, you probably don't have the gut or the experience to create the success you want. So if you trust your gut, you're going to make the wrong decision. Whereas a mentor who's already been there and done it before you and spent many years attacking the same problems that you're going after, they'll have a better gut and they'll be able to tell you what to do. They'll help you realize things that you think are smart moves to do that are actually dumb moves. They'll help you course correct and skip over obstacles that they faced along the way. Mentors save you time and money even though many people believe that they cost both of these. Now, my first mentor in business was actually my boss. And I'm a big proponent of working extremely hard and being the best in your job, because if you can't be effective in your job, that's clearly laid out for you, then you're not gonna be an effective entrepreneur. And I did everything my boss asked of me with a big smile on my face and I went above and beyond. I tried to do more than what my boss asked of me. I asked my boss's boss what my boss's boss wanted for my boss. And I would do things to make my boss look better. I would do everything in the book or not in the book, but just everything that was told to me to help out and be effective. And by going above and beyond, I was able to get better and better and better advice and more direction because I proved myself to be somebody who not only took action, but took massive action and did everything that was asked of me by my mentors. My second success tip is ruthlessly split testing when others quit. Now, most entrepreneurs don't split test enough to make anything really work. They'll run a few tests, right? They'll say, oh, I'm going to put up two different Facebook ads. Then when it doesn't work out, they give up and go in a different direction. The successful entrepreneur will split test until they make it work. So in that example, successful entrepreneur might split test 200 ads, right? He might put up two ads, then he might put up two more and two more until he gets it working and making money. There's no magic formula for scaling up advertising campaigns. It's literally all about the process of continuous split testing. Be willing to not see this investment in advertising as money lost, but look at it as data collected. And you can do this whether you're doing paid advertising methods or even free advertising methods. And if you're looking into free marketing methods, check out my playlist, which has all of my free traffic methods in there. What you need to understand is that every split test you do will make you a better marketer because you learn more and more ways and reasons of things that you thought would work that don't work or unintuitive things that do work, etc. Thomas Edison is a famous quote that says, I didn't fail 10,000 times in creating a light bulb. I just did 10,000 ways that didn't work. So he never looked at it as failure. It was just data to figure out what was going to create a light bulb. Understand that your competition is tapping out. And if you don't tap out, then you beat them. So if you're willing to invest time and money into split testing, you will beat all of the competition by default. Most people can't stand failure because most people are short term thinkers. They'll test out, let's say they want to sell a product such as a protein shake. They'll test out one ad, won't work. Many people will give up. They'll test out two ads, 
won't work. The more people will give up. Most entrepreneurs will give up before they've tested a dozen ads. So if you're just willing to stick it out and keep going where others haven't and be a long-term thinker, then you'll win by default. This company, by the way, took years to really make it, but they're worth over a hundred million dollars just selling little protein shakes. Pretty impressive. Now, one of the best split tests I ever run which one of the hardest marketing campaigns I've ever done was uh, selling an ebook, which sold for $27, I believe it was, on how not to get abducted by UFOs. Seriously. Now you might think that's a joke, but this was a serious book for people who were worried about getting abducted by aliens. Now there are people out there, surprisingly, that are scared about being abducted by aliens. And the process of split testing, different audiences, different ads, different marketing messages, different landing pages, in order to sell this really weird, obscure ebook, taught me a lot of stuff. Now I never was able to get the advertising campaign to the point where it was making me much money. But I learned about a lot of things in the process. I learned about ham radio. I learned about people who consider themselves hand radio operators. I learned a little bit about Morse code and fists, not that sort of fist. But in the process of learning about a completely different market, which I knew really nothing about, I was able to become a better marketer. And I was able to apply that knowledge to my very next marketing campaign, which was marketing a product to Christians about surviving the end times. It was called Family Survival Course. And with that marketing campaign, when I was, I think I was 22, 23 years old, I was able to make a thousand dollars profit in a single day. I did that for a few weeks. That built up kind of a nest egg of money that I would then later use to eventually launch my own business and quit my job and really become the person I am today. So each split test, even if you don't make money, remember, it's a way for you to learn what doesn't work, why something doesn't work, and more. Now, the third non-intuitive success tip I have for you to become a millionaire is investing in areas where you feel uncomfortable in. When I first started buying ads on the internet, I wasn't very comfortable with it, but I did it anyways. When most entrepreneurs are uncomfortable with something, they give up. Again, short-minded thinking. But I was willing to realize that I wouldn't be uncomfortable at this advertising thing forever. But I did know that if I didn't do this advertising at all, and I didn't take this time and wasn't willing to be uncomfortable, that I'd always be uncomfortable. These days, I'm very comfortable with doing advertising and marketing. And I have ads that are running on the internet, on YouTube, on Facebook, on TV, every single day. You know, I started advertising on TV because TV was a totally new area for me. And I wanted to give myself a challenge in doing something that I felt very uncomfortable doing. Again, I'm very comfortable with YouTube and Google ads at this point. I never advertised on TV before. I, I always want to be learning, giving myself a challenge. And I kept investing and I didn't give up. And now it's doing very well. Invested over a half million dollars into figuring out TV ads in countless hours, but I was willing to go somewhere where many others weren't. And because of that, I was able to reap the rewards. Now, if I'd quit as soon as I became uncomfortable, I never would have gotten results, which have led to a very large income for myself. But I stuck in, and now what was uncomfortable is now comfortable again. So you'll always be the entrepreneur who's never willing to dive deep into discomfort. I hope this video has been useful for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy learning about marketing and mindset and success. Also, if you're looking to interact with other people to, you know, let's say you don't fully trust me, right? I don't know why you're watching me, but if you wanna ask questions, if you need more personal interaction, which many people do in the learning process, then join my Discord forum, okay? There's a link below. People need other people as sounding boards to learn most effectively. Become an entrepreneur and make a career out of this and doing marketing, running your own online business. Join the forum, it's free, it's there, and it's a resource for you.
And third off, if you just want to chat with me kind of informally, casually, ask me some questions, then follow me on Twitch. I do live streaming of video games I play. I like playing, you know, role-playing games, JRPGs, card games, strategy games, you know, civilization, etc. So if you want to follow me there, check me out. And when I live stream, be happy to chat with you, you know, in between games and whatnot, just informally. So thanks for watching. And once again, talk to you soon.